is this in your house by the case? No judgments. Or are you drinking a bottle of it a day? And no judgments about that either. Hey, everybody, welcome. If you're one of those people that maybe enjoys wine during the weekday or at 9 o'clock in the morning, no judgments, John, but 9 o'clock in the morning, then you might want to stay tuned today. John and I are going to do two live emotion coach sessions today to start the process of helping two people eliminate and or reduce alcohol consumption. It's going to take more than a quickie little session today, but we're going to start the process by removing all the anxiety that's wrapped around you drinking because it's one of the main causes. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loge. I'm an emotion code practitioner, certified emotion code practitioner, and I am here every Saturday almost at 9 o'clock Pacific, 12 noon Eastern, hosting the Emotion Code Bro Show, and I'm here with John. Hey, the other host, uh, John Inverarity, and I'm from Vancouver, Canada, certified in the Emotion Code and Body Code. And yeah, Michael and John, Emotion Code Bros, always a pleasure. And yeah, very exciting, uh, interesting topic today. Episode 48. We are, yes. And uh, we have an anniversary coming up soon because this is episode number 48. Holy S balls, number 48. We've been doing yeah. this for 48 episodes. And every week we choose a different subject that we have had personal experience with, with the emotion code. And uh, for those of you that are new joining us today, welcome. We're about to explain the emotion code chart behind us and how these emotion uh, trapped emotions are part of your reason, or well, maybe not you, but somebody you know, why they're over drinking or over smoking or doing drugs in lots of different areas. John, let's do a little brainstorm. I don't have the list in front of me of some of the topics that we've done in the past just to show people like the variety of things. Well, I'm going to start with food. We've helped people get rid of Halloween candy, Christmas candy, um, Easter eggs and Easter candy. We've helped people. Last week we did seasonal allergies. Hey, if you're watching last from last week and we helped you, Michael, and who did you work with? Charity. Charity. Yeah, Charity's in the house, hopefully. And Michael, we did quick emotion code sessions last week. I got an update three days later from Michael's wife. Uh, and remember, we, when we worked on them, they didn't even come on the screen. They were just out in the room saying, hey, help me. And his nose was dry for three days after the session. My hunch is it's still dry. The joke was he was a skeptic. He was his wife called him a skeptic about yeah. the process. You yeah. know what? Who cares? Quack quack quack. You can be skeptical all you want. If your nose isn't running after a week, throw me a bone already. <laughs> Hashtag throw the bros a bone. <laughs> if we get rid of your seasonal allergy problem. So, what else have we worked on, John? Uh, quite a bit. <clears throat> uh, resistance to exercise, public speaking. Uh, we worked on brain fog. Night terrors, panic, Money anxiety, blocks. clutter. Oh, yeah, clutter was a good one. Writer's block. We did one called the heart stuff. wall. That's people that are protecting their heart. You know, say, oh, I've got a wall around my heart. Well, that was true. Or teeth and, grinding. Uh, teeth grinding. Oh, yeah, teeth grinding was a good idea. Claustrophobia, episode. constipation, excessive urination. I got the list. You Procrastination. Do have the list in front of you. Good work. Yeah. Okay, well, that's just some of the topics. And today, of course, we're doing alcohol consumption. Maybe you just want to reduce it. And, you know, one thing that's very consistent with John and I, we only work on subjects on the show that we've had success with. And there's a couple of things that I've been working with somebody on and I'm not having success with. It's taking a lot of time. So we're not bringing it to the show. But I did have a client that she was a gin drinker. And not just a little bit, but a lot of gin. But she never got S-faced but she did drink gin every day. And then she, would, she said she would go to the grocery store and when it was on sale, she was triggered. So she would buy, so she, she had gin like we have water, just gin, gin, gin every day. And in a half hour emotion code session, uh, and she's in another country, so talk about distance healing. Yeah. In a half hour session, she hasn't had gin. And I think we're probably up to six months never wow. had gin and no anxiety and it's not it's not like oh i can't have gin it's like not wanting to so that's what our goal is today john tell people what they need to do today to participate in today's show well you need to be watching live and you need to volunteer and give us some context about um you know the anxiety the anxiety or you know what your goals are if you want to reduce it 
reduce your weekday drinking, something like that, or, you know, only have a few drinks on the weekend. Um, that's all we need. Yeah. You might say, well, you know what, I want to stop drinking wine or I'm drinking gin or, you know, um, I've got this habit of having to have a bottle of wine on Fridays, whatever. There's no judgments about that, but if you don't want it, then uh, our goal is to help you reduce that. And yeah. in a proper half hour session, we can have much larger impact. But today, our goal is to help you reduce the anxiety about quitting drinking and not drinking and the triggers that are make you want to pick up a glass of wine and so on and so on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was working with someone that was um, that helped someone with uh, weekday wine, and they just wanted to reduce that or cut back on that and only have a, a glass or two on the weekends or you know social occasions. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it really helped her. She did. It's it not. John, let's go out and say hello to some friends. Then we're going to start the process. And remember, we are still looking for you to let us know. You need to tell us your name, your age, and the severity of your your drinking. Is it wine? And if we don't have anybody to come forth, then uh, we'll just do a Q&A. We'll check it out. First, Sig Brown was in the house. She said, I got Alexa to remind me today, so I made it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Love, hashtag loving Alexa. And uh, <clears throat> Azu Stream. Hey, Michael, it's Adam Blaney. Uh, just using an alternative account while I set up for a stream at 10 a.m. Now, Ad I met Adam this, remember earlier, I, before the show, I told you I met Adam at the hotel. In Victoria here, he had he did a, a live stream for an event that I was at. So we talked about the live stream. And we were at the end. I said, you know what, do you have any pain? He said, yeah, I got pain in my shoulders and my neck. We talked about it a little bit. So, mm -hmm. you know, hashtag I'll do it anywhere. So I end up doing an emotion code session with Adam. And then later he said, you know what, all my pain in my neck and my shoulders are gone. So, Adam, good luck with your live. Who else, John? Uh, Lisa Hammond says, good morning, Michael and John. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Good uh, morning. Sylvia Bellini. Hello, gentlemen. Looking forward to a great show. Raining and miserable here in London. Summer is over. Oh, it's just Summer beautiful is over. here. It's beautiful here, Sylvia. Yes. Hey, my Boy, dad, Jim. Those, those peeps in the UK have a tough time with their weather, don't they? <laughs> They're so always complaining by. about the weather. Sig Brown saying, did you say next week is Frankie Pants? Close. <laughs> I think we meant Cranky. Cranky pants, irritable people. That's next week's show. Hey, Jim, Jim and Verarity's on. Yeah, Sounds like dad. your dad's in the house. Have a great show. Thanks, Jim and Verarity. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina Vargas says hello from Costa Rica. Woohoo, Costa Rica's in the house. So, so far we've got London, UK. We've got Costa Rica. We've got Canada. We've got United States. Alaska. Yeah, Alaska's in the house. Part of the Morning, US. It's like their own country. So good morning, Misty Anderson. She's missed us. Well, we miss you too. We thought you, well, we thought you broke up with us, really. Uh, and good evening, Barbara Rowing from the UK as well. So from the rainy UK. See, they're obsessed with the weather. Yeah, and Ireland, Nicholas. Nicholas Beckham, hello there from we Ireland. Go. Another country, Nicholas Beckham, hello from Ireland. Beautiful Vancouver Island, Premier Palm with us. Good morning, Michael and John. I learned so much from hanging out with you guys on Saturdays. Well, we love having you here too. We are still looking for you. Oh, there we go. We found our first friend that we're gonna help. Who? Yeah, Samantha? Janet Bianic. Janet, okay. I'm just gonna write that information. Thank you, Janet. And I'm gonna work with Janet. She drinks beer when I feel like I'm too happy. Okay, and that's good that she's identifying that because sometimes we want to know what the trigger is, right? She drinks beer when she's too happy, bliss, and the loneliness. Bliss, and then loneliness. That's perfect because we can find out. Now, John, when I say we can find out, I mean I can find out. So let's, uh, let's continue on saying hello to people, and then we're going to set up with Janet. And before I work with Janet, we're going to talk about, uh, you're going to talk through the process for, uh, for people. Okay. Misty Anderson's giving us a hashtag, bye bye wine. I found someone too, I think. Oh, did you? Yeah, Samantha Lynn says, I've been struggling since 2016 to stay in sobriety. I drink beer daily now and I just don't even think twice and I need to stop uh, for my health. Really looking forward to this. Okay, good stuff. So that might be permission. Is that, that permission? There's lots of comments here. I'll keep 
keep scrolling. Okay. Samantha, if you want me to work on you, just say yes, permission. Yeah, so you're going to work with severity. Samantha. I'm going to work with Janet. I see Lisa Kent has stepped up as well. Um, we're just taking two people today. But a reminder that today's goal is to reduce the anxiety and the habit and the triggers. And you can always book a half hour session. Yeah. And say, you know, save, save the money on three bottles of wine and hire a bro. Really. Hire a bro. We're going to help you with that. Uh, Lisa is from the UK. Hey, Lisa. Lauren Nelson Bowman. She's from Portland, Oregon. Portland, so, John, right. let's talk about the two of the uh, two of the main um, distinctions about the emotion code process, and uh, one is the subconscious mind. What? How does that play a role in this process? Well, first, shout out to Dr. Brad. We do shout out to Dr. Bradley Nelson. He's the originator, the founder, the creator, the inventor. Wrote the, the book. Talent behind the book, The Emotion Code and also certifies people to become emotion code practitioners, of which John and I are both. And John's also a body code practitioner, which is an advanced system that complements the emotion code process. And he talks about two distinctions. You're going to discuss both of them. One yeah. is trapped emotions and one is the, the subconscious, subconscious mind. mind. Yeah. yeah, so the subconscious mind, it remembers everything that you've done and every experience that you've gone through, all that stress in your past, everything you've uh, ate, eaten um tasted smelt and it stores it like uh, like google so it's just like this ledger and your whole life is in your subconscious mind and it's way more powerful than your conscious mind and so we communicate with the subconscious mind to find out what these past events were and the other distinction is a trapped emotion so that is an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event so something from the past in, in your your teens 20s 30s whenever you went through, there's the chart right there, went through um, something, some stress, and created that trap emotion, and it is, and it acts like a double-edged sword. So it affects you, uh, you mentally, and your perception on life, and physically as well. So it can aggravate the tissues, and create pain. And it can lodge anywhere in your body, and contribute to any health concerns. So whether it's you know, seasonal allergies or you know, daily drinking or procrastination. It um, just really creates these hangups in life. Yeah, it's the roadblock. Get it, please. Q, it is the roadblock. These trapped emotions, these are unprocessed negative emotions that are the roadblock that are stopping you from having health and wealth and flexible necks and legs and, and good yeah. bowel movements, yeah, everything. It's the, well. it's the reason, yes. What is the trapped cones that are stopping you to get to your goal. John, I just want to recap everything you said. The subconscious mind is brilliant. It knows everything. And the good news is, is that it knows the reasons why you're drinking. Mm -hmm. And it knows Great. the reasons why you have a stuffy nose and why you have a skin rash and why you have, you know, sore neck. Sore, it knows everything. That's the good news. The better news is the bros can talk to your subconscious mind and say, hey, you, what is causing you to have this problem? So the two distinctions, unprocessed negative emotions from past events, the subconscious mind, the sub, we're going to ask the subconscious mind, which one of these are causing Janet, my friend Janet, uh, what's, which one of these are causing her to want to have beer when she gets, she feels she's triggered, she's too happy, she's blissful, and then loneliness cuts in, and then she wants to have her. The subconscious mind knows the exact answer to that. The conscious mind doesn't, the conscious mind thinks it might know the answer, but you know what? The subconscious mind is the boss. So John, tell people how I'm gonna be able to connect with Janet and find that information. What, what's, the process, what's that process? So yeah, it's distance healing, and the term we use is proxy. Proxy, so connect, uh, the practitioner, Michael will act as a prax, proxy on behalf of, of Janet. Yeah. And as her proxy, that means I have her permission to tap into her subconscious mind. I wanna do that um, uh, energetically. And I'm gonna be using muscle testing. And when I, when I, yeah, I have her permission, I'm gonna be using muscle testing. And this is a form to communicate, to find the, the yes or the no. 
Now, John, there's one important distinction about asking the subconscious mind about the trapped emotions is that I can only ask what kind of question. So it's only a, a yes or no type That's of question. Right. So it's so, no, you know, what is it? You know, what should I do? What's my favorite color? You can't do that, but you could list a bunch of colors. And, you know, so this is when, when my fingers are locked in, it's a yes and let it go if it's a no. I know. So I'm going to look at each one of the words and, and I'm going to do a little bit quicker. I'm going to say, is it that feeling? No. Is it this one, this one, this? Ah. As soon as my fingers lock in, because I made an agreement with my subconscious mind, said, let me know when it's a yes, let it go if it's a no. So uh, let's see if I have everything. Oh, and one of the reasons that I'm able to connect with Janet's subconscious mind, who lives hours away from me, that's why it's called distance healing, is because of this. Yeah, water. So it helps with yeah, the muscle testing. Water, by the way. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's for later. So we drink a lot of water. We do. Okay, so right now I'm just muscle testing, and I'm just going to show you my fingers for a couple, and and John will walk through, and then uh, John, yep. you can start working with your client as well. So right now I'm just testing. Am I hydrated enough? What's the answer? I am. That, do I need to yes. drink more water? I don't. Do I have enough to work with Janet right now? I do. Am I Michael? I am. Okay, so I'm just going to do my little thing here and just get connected with Janet. So just setting the intention, connect up. Okay. Am I Janet? Yes. Am I Michael? No. Am I John? Am I Jesus? Am I Peter, Paul, Mary, Joseph, Jesus, Michael? I'm Janet. There we go. And I can just double test. Am I 68? I'm not. Am I 70? I'm not. Am I, there, see how it locks? <laughs> I'm 69. So I got the right Janet. And because she gave me permission. So I'm asking my subconscious mind about this subject. I seem to have a trigger that when I'm too happy and blissful, then I get into loneliness and then I want to drink beer. Is that true? It is true. And John, let's talk about severity. So now I want to find out what is the severity of this problem? Is it a severity of one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight? It's a severity of eight out of what? Ten. Ten. ten eight out of ten. Severe. So it's severe, it's an eight out of 10. And now here's my favorite question. The severity of the problem of triggered to have one, uh, a beer when I'm feeling happy and blissful and then I turn into loneliness. Um, what is the percentage it's caused by trapped emotions? Is it 10%, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 100% 100 of the reason that I'm triggered is because of trapped emotions. That is wow. good news. And the better news is I'm going to find out what they are. So I'm going to find out the first couple out loud, John, and then uh, you can take over. You can do your. So yep. is the first one in column A or B? Is it B even, B odd, one, three, one, two? It's defensiveness. Hmm. So I have a trapped emotion of defensiveness. Do I need to know more? Hmm, I do. Was I under 60? 50, 40, 30, 20, 21 to 23. I was 23 years old, I being Janet. I was 23 years old. I had an event where the negative trapped emotion of defensiveness got lodged. Do I need to know more? I don't. Can I release it? Now what am I doing, John? I'm releasing. Releasing it. So the magnet goes over to the governing meridian uh, with intention to clear out that trapped emotion. And then it gets processes through the whole energy system, the meridian system, and Did dissipates and basically deletes it out. Confusion. Was it from the same event? It was. Releasing confusion. Look at the chart. Grief from the same event. So that's three trapped emotions when I was 23 years old that are causing this trigger. Mm -hmm. Self-abuse from the same event. Stubbornness from the same event. That's it for trapped emotions. There's another kind of trapped emotion. We call them HBs. Hidden. Buggers. Yes. How many do I have? How many hidden ones? They're kind of tucked away. They're hard to find. There's five of them. Are they all B3? Are they the same? Oh, they're the same as the ones that were trapped. So they were trapped and then the little piece left behind. So hidden confusion. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up to Samantha. Yeah. So I'll get a good connection here. So I'm muscle testing. I do a little loop with pinky and thumb on the left hand. And I use these two fingers on the right to go through the loop 
I just spread them out like that, I'm just muscle testing uh, with my hands down in my lap. So set the intention, connect up Samantha. So I get a good connection here, Roxy. I do have a good connection, great. Okay, so severity of this uh, daily drinking, beer drinking, impact it has on your health. Is it at least a five? Yeah. Is it a 10? It's a nine. We have a nine out of a 10. Those are trapped emotion contributing to uh, this trigger, this uh, craving for beer every day. Yeah. Is it in column A? I got a no. B, yes. B2. First one is failure. Okay, so do we need to know more about this? No. <clears throat> Samantha, can I ask your age, please? Uh, do we need age for failure? No, don't need the age, so we'll just clear failure. So I got a little magnet here on a, a wristband. Swipe it over the governing meridian, release that failure. Okay, that's cleared. I'm gonna do an update on Janet. So before the session, what was my severity of wanting to have beer when I was too happy and blissful and I turned into loneliness and then I drank? What was the severity of that problem trigger? Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? And now is it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0? So my subconscious mind is saying the severity of this trigger and habit is zero. Yes. Do I need to do any more on this? What is my level of anxiety about uh, drinking and, and reaching for the drinks and seeing beer and buying beer and having beer and worrying about having beer. What is my overall level of anxiety before today's session? Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? And now it's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. There's a little bit left. It's terror. So a little bit of terror that's creating this level of anxiety. It was really strong, but now it's been reduced. And we're reducing this level of terror. I'm gonna test I found a trapped emotion of heartache. So heartache around the age of 24, 25. Heartache, yeah. Clear that. Heartache, that's a good one to clear. So failure and heartache. So there's not a lot of good words on this list yeah she's 28 in case you didn't see that saw that great thanks samantha okay uh now i'm back to being janet am i michael no i'm still janet i'm just checking my work now what is the severity now of my trigger that makes me want to have beer when i'm too happy and blissful and lonely turned into loneliness what is the severity of that problem Ten nine eight seven six five four three two one zero. Now, what is the severity of my anxiety about drinking and not drinking and buying beer and not buying beer and thinking about it and worrying about it? Was it before the session? Was it at eight nine eight nine? And now it's ten nine eight seven six five four three two one zero. Do I need to do any more? No. Nope. I'm gonna find out my belief about that as well. Is it okay if I stop drinking the beer? Ah, it's not okay. What's causing me to have that belief? It's shock. I'm releasing the shock. So I had shock that caused me to have that. Is it safe if I quit drinking beer? Would that be safe to do that? No, it's not safe. What's causing that? Oh, shock is causing that. I'm releasing the shock that's causing that belief. And I'm going to ask two more questions. Am I worthy of not drinking beer, quitting drinking beer? Am I worthy of that? I'm not. What's causing it? Shock is causing it. And one more question. Do I believe that I can stop drinking beer? Do I believe that? I don't believe it. It's shock. Now I'm going to ask all four of those questions. Would it be okay if I stopped drinking beer? It would be okay. Would it be safe? It would be safe. Am I worthy? I'm worthy. Do I believe it? I believe it. Am I done? I am. Do I need to do more? I don't. Okay, now I'm just going to disconnect. That was quick. That was quick. And my goal is for Janet to see a reduction in all that, a reduction in the trigger. And again, even though it was only like a 10 or 15 minute session, it was enough to put a dent into what are some of the things that are happening. Absolutely, yeah, just reduce that, tone it down a bit. So I cleared, um, I'll just go over what I cleared so far. Failure, heartache at 24, panic at 20, 
resentment 24. I just found an overjoy. So overjoy is like the only positive emotion on the chart. It's, it's unique. And what it means is that your body just wasn't wired correctly uh, for the amount of joy. It was just too intense. Whatever it was, to yeah. clear that. I just want to remind everybody that you and I have an online calendar. They can book a 30 minute session uh, at, for the price of three bottles of wine, probably. Well, Canadian wine, it's cheaper in the States. You get my point. And uh, we can put a dent into this problem. Uh, your level of anxiety, your habits, your trigger, your need, your lust, your desire, whatever is causing you to drink. And if you need more sessions, you will know that. But next week, before next week, we definitely want to hear from Janet about her results. And uh, my goal is that she'll reduce, my personal goal is that she'll eliminate it. And my initial goal is that she'll reduce it. So, John, I'm going to go read some more comments. Are you complete with your session? No? Okay, carry no. on then. Uh, our friend Barbara Romaine said, I don't drink water, just vodka. So sad. Well, we can fix that. Thank you for joining us today, Barbara Romaine. And uh, who else is saying something here? Uh, uh, Janet says, I remember the shock and the moment of judgment at 23. Janet, give me a hashtag, holy S balls. Okay? <laughs> hashtag, holy balls. Samantha, she said, I'm trying to write it down and follow. You know what, Samantha? Just sit back and relax. If you understand, if you know, if you like Janet, remember the date, but I wouldn't try to process it, try to figure it out. Trying to figure it out keeps you in the vibration of it longer than you need to be. Just enjoy the process and the results that you are about to experience. And you can figure it out if you want. I'm not the boss of you. <laughs> I'll get the ages here. So, Overjoy was 13, I'm Clearing Frustration, 24. So now there's three emotions around the age of 24, 25. Clear that. Okay. Misty, well, Mr. Anderson's back. She is blowing up the hashtags today. <laughs> uh, Don Boehm has joined us. He's a longtime follower. Good morning, bros. Looking forward to seeing success with today's show. Me too. Tim Zegger is from Kansas City. Good morning, Tim. I think you're a first timer. Welcome. And uh, I'm scrolling. If I haven't read your comment, um, John and I get different refreshes on the screen, and uh, they're not always in order. My, my, there's a big delay on mine. Yeah. Is there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wendy Stout saying, I learned the emotion code with the Govern Meridian like John is doing. Michael, can you do it differently? It looks like I'm doing it differently because you're looking at me face on. You think that I'm just wiping my face with it? But if I turn sideways, you'll see that I'm doing this. You can't tell that I'm going back to here because I'm doing it. Right now, it looks like I'm just, you know, trying to get flies, swatting flies. And, but I'm actually going back enough. You just can't really see that I'm doing that. I think that's what you mean, Wendy Stout. And you know what? The governing meridian it starts right here. Oh, so I'm catching it then. Yeah. <laughs> catching it. Yeah. Uh. I'm catching. And it's all about the intention anyways, too, right? You know what? Sometimes There's... I'm laying in bed, and I don't even have a magnet, and, and I'm just doing this. I'm just, like, fl swatting flies. <laughs> and, you know, it doesn't, you don't just start here and care. Just anywhere with the magnet's going to catch it. So sometimes I'm just like this. Even the other day, I'm walking to 7-Eleven um, to get a coffee, and I did an emotion code se session on the way. And, you know, I just pretended I was just, like, doing this. Nobody, if anybody's watching, they'll say, my God, there's a lot of flies around him. I was just doing this. So officially, it's from here to here with the magnet, but there's lots of leeway yeah. around that. Yeah, Janet is, gave yeah. us a holy uh, hashtag, holy s balls. Thank you, Janet. Hey, if you're watching live today, uh, let us know. If you're watching after live today, uh, leave, leave us a comment. We worked on a lot of people on a lot of different things, so we'd love to hear from you. Why don't you give us a quick update about? something that we've helped you with here on The Bro Show. Again, we're here live every Saturday. Next week, we're doing cranky pants or people that are irritable. Now, I worked with a guy, and he was self-proclaimed PR, you know what, you know what, you know what, K. He was. That's what he, he said, I just am. He goes, I'm grumpy. I'm rude. He said, people don't like me. 
And I did an emotion code session with him and it ended up being a lot of stuff around his heart. And the, you know, uh, the second time we, he booked a series of sessions and the second time we got on the call, he said, dude, people are telling me how nice I am because I haven't had, he was like 42 because I haven't had that in my whole life. People are saying I'm nice to be around and I'm looking to see who they're talking to. And he said, my wife noticed it. My kids noticed it. So we can help if you think you're cranky or irritable, it is an unprocessed negative emotion or a number of them that are trapped within you. And they are the orange cone that are stopping you from living a rich, full, delicious life. And we can help identify it and remove it. Uh, good stuff. And listen, if you are an emotion code practitioner now and you want to learn how to build your business and you want to give demonstrations about the emotion code, in front of a live audience or on Facebook like John and I are doing or any kind of forum, you can deliver the seven keys. Okay, I don't have it in front of me. You can, I can teach you how to deliver the seven keys to the process, not teaching you how to do the emotion code. That's not my job. My job is to teach you how to be a trainer so you can deliver the seven keys. Now, John and I are doing a health show in Nanaimo, BC in September. Well, I already know, John, that, and because we're doing it at three o'clock, we're going to spend the whole day driving traffic to our live presentation on stage and we're going to do RD. No, not research and development. Nope. Razzle dazzle. We're going to bring people up to the front of the room, probably a number of people. We're going to remove all their chronic pain, anxiety, fear, whatever they have that you can see right there live. And we're going to be using the seven keys. If you're interested, Delilah's going to put the link to the seven keys process and a $95 off coupon. I have a number of people that have taken it already. They've been doing the seven keys presentation and they've been filling and booking in their calendar. Okay, John, I'm gonna do a refresh here. We have some uh, Alan Davison, <laughs> trapped emotion swatters. <laughs> Thank you, Dave, Alan Davidson. Misty gave us a cranky pants. She gave us a be nice to be around. We love that. How are you doing with your session, John? Oh, pretty good. I found an inherited emotion. Oh, what's that? Yeah, what's that? It was inherited confusion. Um, Samantha got it from her mom. I'm just going to clear this one first, taken for granted. Yeah. Uh, but inherited confusion, so inherited means you can actually be born with them. So something your mom went through or your dad went through or their parents or you know it could be go back dozens and dozens of generations and so something they went through is actually influencing you your behavior your physical health in your life so we find them and clear them this one was confusion so bye-bye to that you found a couple confusions as well when i was working on janet i found some um prenatal yeah. trapped emotions that means it's, while yeah. she was in her mother's womb she picked up some emotions that her mother or father or siblings were experiencing and she absorbed them. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited to hear from Janet next week, find out uh, her results and the results that you're gonna be working on. Tammy yeah, Prince is from Nanaimo. Oh, Tammy, we wanna see you on September whatever at the health show at Bevan Park, front row. Hopefully we're gonna be able to go live because it's gonna be on Saturday, and we usually do the bro show, so instead of doing it, because we won't be able to, we're gonna be at a booth, uh, instead of doing it at nine o'clock in the morning, we might do the bro show at three in the afternoon. I know Sylvia Bellini will be so in bed at that time, because it'll be like three in the morning or something, her time, or 11 or something. Okay, here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to hear from uh, 10 people today. Before we leave, I wanna hear from 10 people. What did you learn, or what was exciting, what made sense? What excited you? What do you see yourself doing differently? So who is going to start the feedback today? What did you learn? What did you like? What was exciting? What do you see yourself doing? Who's going to be the first person to leave us comments? Hey, our friend Joade has joined us. Joade, you're just hey, at the tail end of today's show. You can always wait about one minute after the show gets uploaded onto my Facebook page and you can watch the whole thing. It is definitely worth it. If you know someone that's drinking and doesn't want to drink anymore or you want to install the idea that you can help them, share this on your social media. Do them a favor.
I think I'm almost done here with Samantha. Yeah, she's saying, am I done? Is there more we can do today? I got no. I think that was it for today, yeah. Okay, that's it for today, Samantha. Samantha, if you could be, yeah. uh, let Hopefully us know um, before, during or before next Saturday show so John and I can get some feedback so the others can hear it, you know. If you could read our email boxes, you would know <clears throat> what it's like to hear success stories every day. But we want our friends watching live today to uh, hear from you and hear from Janet. Again, our initial goal is reduction. And if it's more than reduction, well, that's a bonus. Linda Buckler. Hey, Linda. Sounds like a new name. Uh, it was exciting that you got those numbers down so fast. Well, John and I are seasoned. You know, we've been doing this for a while. We're doing, John's probably doing four or five hours a day. I've been doing it probably two or three hours a day for a number of years. I can get the numbers down fast. So if you're just learning the emotion code, don't try to be like us. Do it the way you learned it. Take your time. Do one at a time. You know, uh, follow the process. And then you'll learn how to do it faster as you go. That's why we say if you're going to hire us, build a list. You know, because we can get a lot done. Okay, it sounds like you're yeah. done with Samantha, John. Yeah, I, I did. I got a zero. So we cleared trapped emotions. You know, creating that trigger to have a drink, creating that, um, you know, the anxiety around drinking. And the intention is to, to find and clear trapped emotions to help reduce or eliminate um, the drinking in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm away all next week. I'm going to be in Las Vegas, but I know John is available with his regular schedule calendar next week. Uh, I'm available tomorrow, but if you want to work with John next week, John, tell people how they can book a session so they can start their reduction and elimination of alcohol, beer, wine, and marijuana, if that's your case, too. Absolutely. So I'm just going to post uh, my website here in the comments. It's also written down right below me, aliveandpeer.com. And really easy to, to set up a session, a one-on-one -on -one session with me through my website. So if you'd like to um, yeah, help to try and reduce that daily drinking, or aches and pains, whatever it may be, whatever your hang up is, love to work with you, help you out. And it's easy because you have an online calendar, you'll look at it in your time zone. So, the, oh, he's available at this time slot. You pay, you book, you get on a private uh, a call like this with John. Okay. And if you don't Zoom. want to get on the video, you can just use phone. the phone as well. Yeah. Okay, we're getting some feedback. Sylvia Bellini, exciting show today. I learned that a motion code can help most issues could take a few sessions, but it works. Yeah, you're right, it could take a few sessions. Linda yeah. Buckner, she's, yes, I'm new. I'm glad I found this group. I work a little on myself. Good stuff. Nice. Okay, we're gonna hang in here for four more minutes until 9.45 a.m. If you have a question, comment, or maybe you have a suggestion for a another future topic, we're always open to hearing that. Absolutely. Lisa Hammond, Viva Las Vegas, Michael Loger. I'm going to work. I'm going to do my certified emotion, uh, certified law of attraction facilitator program. And we're probably going to do a couple little live videos there. Um, you know, I've got a fun crowd coming. They're going to leave Las Vegas ready to do their own emotion code uh, seminar. If you live in the Toronto area on June 3rd, I'm doing a law of attraction seminar on Sunday afternoon. If you live in Fredericton, New Brunswick, or, or any surrounding city, I'll be there on June 8th or 9th. I should know that. Around there. You can go to hangoutwithmichael.com, click on events. You can check it out then. John, what is your closing comments for today? We've got three more minutes. Um, actually, I have a testimonial I could read, success story. Yeah, why don't you do that? We've got time. Yeah, it's actually, i just reminded by Susan Arthur here. She says, hey, bros. I uh, got to catch the replay, birthday celebrations tonight. Thank you, John, for helping uh, Eland. She's been beaming a big smile all week. Ah, uh -huh. we love Ellen. Ellen, I think it is. <clears throat> uh, so that's uh, Susan's daughter. And she wrote me an awesome testimonial because I worked on her. I think you helped her son too. Yeah, it was Finn with that. Um, 
Night, it was night that panic terrors. and anxiety. Yeah. Yeah, poor little thing was getting night terrors on Sunday nights. Of all, you know, that's the only night. John uh, found out the trapped emotions and eliminated that problem. Now, how you do that is like if you have children and they have any challenges, uh, John and I can work with your children without them being there. You just need to say, yes, I'm the mother, I'm the caretaker, I'm the father. Would you say caretaker? Caregiver. And uh, you have my permission. So we can actually work with your child uh, without them being there. Wendy Stout, I want to see you in Toronto. Bring your selfie stick, Wendy Stout. Tell your friends. We've got room for more. Nice, yeah. Yeah, I found my uh, found the testimonial from from Ellen. Okay, so I had heard nonstop of the emotion code process from my mom who watches your bro show on Facebook. I get anxious when taking tests and exams. I decided to book a session with you as I was keen to learn my if my anxiousness was caused by trapped emotions. Your website is very clear and easy to use. The, the booking process was simple and I love I could choose an appointment in my country's time zone so effortlessly. I found the reminder email really helpful too. You made me feel completely at ease during the session. It was totally painless and comfortable. After receiving the detailed findings from you, it made so much sense. The trapped emotions and the ages they occurred resonated. The day after the healing, uh, with you, I, I took a test and passed. The interesting fact for me was how I felt the morning of test day. I woke up feeling confident, which I have never felt before on a test day. I actually looked forward to the test and had a deep feeling I was going to pass, and I did just that. I have also suffered for a long time from pins and needles and back pain. After a motion coach session, the pain in my back dramatically reduced and continues to reduce. And today, 48 hours later, I haven't had any symptoms of pins and needles. I cannot thank you enough, John. I can't stop telling my friends that are having any discomfort or issues that they need your healing. Thank you. You've made a huge positive difference to my life. Total gratitude. Oh, we love hearing that. Yeah. Hey, John, we have a, I just thought of a new, well, I didn't think of it, I just heard a new topic for the future, pins and needles. <laughs> yeah, write right? that That's down. That's common. People talk about pins and needles. What is that? Some a little electric, yeah, it's, yeah, pins and needles. This are, here's 60 of them. These are a row of pins and needles. <laughs> uh, Wendy Stout has a good question. A 40-year-old child? Well, they might be your child, but they're a little too old, so... Uh, they're usually children that live at home under your care. When they're 40 years old, they would need to give us permission themselves. That's right. Yeah. It's an adult. <laughs> okay, I'm going to read two more, and then we're going to sign out. Misty Anderson, thank you for a great show, bros. Misty Anderson from Alaska. Uh, Natasha Paula Samuel from the UK. Great show, as always showing that the subconscious mind knows exactly what trapped emotions are causing the problems. That's right, it is so friggin' smart. Okay, John, have a great week. We are going to be live again next Saturday, the same time, and we're gonna be working with cranky pants, or people cranky that pants. are irritable, you know. Not you, but somebody you know. Definitely not you. Or it may be you watching. And uh, I'm proud that we had two people come forth, or more than two people end up coming forth today. Yeah. And uh, we're vulnerable. You know, we're vulnerable doing this, and you're vulnerable to volunteer. So we appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, thanks a lot, Janet and Samantha. And uh, hopefully we'll hear from both of you before next week. Let's say goodbye, John. And uh, we had a great day today. I think we're going to get some great results. So see you later. Absolutely. Everybody. Have a great weekend.